Part two of today's WPSD Local 6 Legal Line. Joe Rourke has headed out the door and Tara Swanson is sitting in. The topic is criminal defense, but we have a leftover question regarding divorce from a viewer. And I think we're going to go ahead and address that right now. Who says, I want a divorce, but I don't know where my husband is. I can't get it because he's nowhere to be found. What are my next steps? So one of the first steps you can do when you can't locate your spouse and you want a divorce is to hire what's called a warning order attorney. Um, the court will help you with that. If you will contact, if you're not represented, sounds like you're not, contact the um, clerk's office in whatever county that your divorce would be pending and let them know that you need a warning order attorney and you will have a hearing and the, you can explain to the judge um, what's going on. They will hire a warning order attorney, and that attorney's job is basically to try to locate your husband. And if they're unsuccessful, they have several avenues they have to use, and if they're unsuccessful, you can go ahead and get a divorce in a lot of cases. There may be a few exceptions, like if he was in the military, there's an exception for that. Um, but there is a way to do it. It just takes some extra time and effort. Um, but if you have any other questions, give our office a call. We have a question from Parker who says, can the police access my medical records? They can. There um, are some rules. They're, they really need to have a warrant. Um, sometimes a subpoena is sufficient depending on the facts. But a warrant is really what they need to access your medical records. And they need to have, obviously, a reason to get such a warrant. Um, that happens pretty frequently that you can have your records accessed in a court setting and that's not just by police officers in civil court it can happen in divorce court it can happen so um, there's this I guess myth that there's this very strict doctor pa patient privilege but that's just not the case in a lot of situations so yeah police can access your records but they need to do so under the law and in the appropriate way so if you're worried that maybe they did so without a warrant um, then that's definitely a reason that you might want to reach out to an attorney Got a little less than 90 seconds left in this second segment, and we have a question from Tina who says, if I'm pulled over on suspicion of drunk driving, what are my options if I decide that I don't want to blow into the breathalyzer? What can happen? This is a pretty common question that we get really frequently, um, and what a lot of people don't know is there are two different breath tests that you might be asked to give. One is the PBT. That is the test you give on the side of the road. It's a portable um, breath machine, and that one is inadmissible in court. So um, they use that for probable cause to see if you have alcohol in your system and if they have a reason to arrest you. The second test you might be asked to give is the breath test at the jail or whatever facility. They might ask for a blood test. Um, and if you refuse to give that test, then that is what's called an aggravating circumstance if it's a second offense or higher. If it's a first offense and you refuse, you're not gonna have that aggravator. But a second offense or higher in Kentucky, it is considered an aggravator. And what that means is basically you're gonna have double jail time if you are convicted. So if your sentence, you know, if the minimum is seven days, then you're gonna have to do at least 14 days. Um, another consequence of that is that you uh, will probably have your license pretrial suspended, which means your license is going to be suspended before you've ever been found guilty. So those are the two main consequences of that. And the best advice there is don't drink and drive. That's right. And you Dave. won't need an attorney. Yes. <laughs> Nevertheless, our thanks to uh, Terry Swanson of the Bryant Law Center in Paducah, our guest on this uh, segment of Local 6 Legal Line. If you want to review either one of these segments, give us a little bit of time, would you? And we'll mix them down, put them up on our website under the Legal Line icon at WPSDLocal6.com.